scared me. Oh, I'm sorry. I really didn't mean to. <laughs> uh, so what are you doing? I couldn't sleep, so I thought I'd log on the internet. Oh, yeah? Well, what are you looking for? News? Chat rooms? Mm -hmm. Erotica? Mm -hmm. Look at you, baby. Why would I need a chat room? Absolutely. I've got two weeks to get the particle physics five-year plan together and present it to His Highness the Dean. I've hit this wall and I'm stuck. I thought that's what particle physics was all about. <coughs> Hating things. Oh, very clever. I know. Well, I'm just a lowly engineer, so I'm afraid I can't help you. Well, maybe you can. They might have what I need. You mean those unethical bastards? <laughs> can you log on and let me look around? Um, what? Oh, come on, I'm no threat to Philodyne security. Yeah, we might be the mine. My access is restricted. So is your sense of humor. Come on, Stephen, help me out here. Yeah, pain. My glasses, I can't say a thing. Okay. There you go. That's as deep as I've been cleared to go. You'll find Philodon isn't a spooky little place like you think. I'm actually developing new energy sources right now. We're running out of oil, remember? We have to find alternatives before we go back to the kerosene lamps. Which, of course, is going to be impossible because kerosene comes from oil. No, I don't think so. So I'll see you in a bit. Erotic. Hungry? Mm. Here you go, baby. Bon appetit. Christine, you are not my friend. <laughs> I know. Mmm, <laughs> is that fresh coffee I smell? Yep. <sighs> Even used bottled water. What, you don't like our city's finest? 
Not when it comes out of the tap looking darker than the coffee I'm brewing. Oh, God. <laughs> Blindness has its advantages. <laughs> Careful of the time. You look great. So how'd it go today? Uh, not well. People get very nervous when handicapped people apply for jobs. They smell lawsuits all over the place. That's the handicap. Yeah, but with your qualifications, you should be no, able to watch... it's not about qualifications. Listen, why don't you let me speak to Willem de Groot? He's a great guy. He is. Yeah, we, we did post-grad work together. Well? Well, what? Come on, Chris. Look, look, it's not that easy teaching biology when you can't see. Besides, I, I don't want his pity. That's a pretty big assumption. It's reality. I think I'm feeling sorry for myself, don't you? No. No, honey, I can't even begin to understand what you... No, maybe I am. I'm just a little frustrated. Because of the accident, I don't have to work another day in my dark little life, and that's a lot easier said than done. Mm. This chocolate eclair is delicious. Mm. I hate you. <laughs> I know. <laughs> So, what are you working on? Well, you remember I told you about my father and his work in Luxembourg? Mm, yes, uh, particle acceleration. Yeah. Well, I finally managed to get into Philodyne, Thomas Abernathy's new multi-million dollar research toy. Oh. By uh, nefarious means? Let's just say I got a little help. Stephen? Yeah. You told them. No. Well, he just gave you access? What? Does he have the slightest clue? <sighs> Me and my big mouth. Yeah. Look, I'm just not ready to tell him yet. Well, you know, the longer you wait, the worse it's going to be. <laughs> what am I supposed to say? Hey, Stephen, your boss at Philodyne killed my father, and with your help, I intend to prove it. Or you can have the box that Carol's showing you on the floor. <laughs> oh, God. Well, that's a start. You're right. <laughs> oh, Eva. You told me you were crazy about this guy. I am, Chris. Well, then? I don't know what to do. <laughs> 